Hello YouTube, this is Kenny Evans with another car video. So, this video is going to be titled, The Best Way to Deal with Rejection from Women. Rejection is a scary word when it comes to the dating game. Men fear it. Well, weak men fear it. And let that fear hold them back from moving forward. It's a shame, you know, rejection and period in the dating game. Women hate it. That's why most women won't even approach men. But obviously rejection in life, it, it's, it can be tough if you don't know how to handle it. You don't know, um, don't have the right mindset for it. Don't know how to take the proper steps to overcome it. You know, as men, we got to, we're hunters. We, we got to go for what we want. You know, the whole adage of um, failing your way to success is crucial. It's crucial. When it comes to dealing with women and dealing with rejection, if you're going to go, you know, approach women and if you are a heterosexual man or if you like women sexually, you're going to have to deal with rejection because no man's going to bat 100 percent. Even if even if you get in choosing signals, you know, you still got to go approach and you still got to be able to get the woman. You know, get whatever you want from her. And it's a shame, you know, most men, some men, you know, and who 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 get rejected, they let it hold them back. They never want to approach a woman again. Or you got guys who who have known guys who've gotten rejected or seen somebody get rejected. It's like, "Oh man, I don't want to go through that." And they only want to deal with women who are, um, who come to them, who give them choosing signals. But even then, like I said, that's not 100%. <laughs> that's not 100%. There's no 100% guarantee you won't get rejected. Even Mr. Lucario, he says this all the time. Um, women reject you not because of you, because, but it's because of them. Because women, when they reject you, they don't even know you. All they see is whatever you, you told them. They don't know anything about you outside of what they see and what that interaction was all about. So they don't truly reject you, you know, because they don't know you. But on top of that, most of the time they reject you is because of whatever they got going on. You know, you never know what they got going on in their lives, whether they got a man or maybe they're just not feeling good. Maybe they had you know, a bad day at work or bad family issues or maybe their dog's sick, sick. You just never know what a woman's going through. So you should not take rejection personally because it just really is not about you. You know, even if you did something, who knows? Maybe it's just that woman who doesn't like what you did. So she decided to let you go. You know, so... I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, a few ways to handle rejection. Uh, in, in my opinion, the best ways to handle rejection. So, one, obviously, is the mind. I talk about it all the time. Because your mind is important when it comes to life, let alone with, with women. But even more important when it comes to get, dealing with rejection from women. So, that abundance mindset is crucial the abundance mindset is the most important thing when it comes to, um, I, I believe, when it comes to dealing with women. Because you got to always realize there's going to be another woman out there. There's billions of women out here in this world who want to do what you want to do. Whether it's sleep around with them, uh, get in a relationship, it doesn't matter. Billions of women in this world, you just got to find them. You know, you just have to find them. I mean, it's very important that you realize that one woman who, who decides to reject you, <laughs> for whatever the reason, you know, should not hamper you and stop you from dealing with other women out here in the world. I mean, it is just important to keep that in mind. 
there are other fish in the sea. That old saying, cliche as it is, is very important. There are other fish in the sea. You will survive. You will, you know, this too shall pass. The pain you're feeling from the rejection, this too shall pass. You know, and you'll get better for it and get better from it. You need that pain. Teach you what not to do. You know, that actually leads me to the second uh, way of handling rejection. Learning from the experience. Maybe how you talked, maybe how you approach, maybe you said something that didn't really resonate with the woman. You gotta learn from the experience. You know, as much as you should never take it personally, learn from the experience. What could you have done to get a better reaction or to get the woman or her number? You know, dating is a part of, is a constant learning. What to do, what not to do. The game. What is your strategy? You know what I mean? It's just all about learning. Got to constantly learn about how to talk, how not to talk, smiling, not smiling, looking, how long you look, how you approach, how fast, where, different, you know what I mean? There's so many different variables when it comes to, um, you know, approaching women, talking with them, talking to women, dealing with women. You just have to learn what's best for you. Because, sure, guys can teach you what to do, but that's their style. You got to learn your style. What works best for you? And how you plan on, on using it? You know? So, it's very important. Learning what works best for you and learning from your failures. Failing your way to the top. That's what you got to do. You got to fail your way to the top. You know? Fail your way to the women <laughs> in your bedroom, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so it's all it's all good, you know. You know, failure is 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 in rejection is not really a scary word. It's all about learning, you know. So very important learning from your rejection. Another way how to deal with your rejections is realizing that woman was not a good fit for you right now. She just was not a good fit for you. She was not right for you right now. Whether she had a boyfriend, maybe, you know, she's just not interested. Maybe she's talking to somebody. Maybe she just having a bad, whatever the reason, she is just not a fit for you right now. Because women, if they really are down for you, it don't matter. They'll travel around the world for you with you they will you know buy you stuff pay to have you <laughs> around them you know shout out to eddie fuse you know <laughs> uh, how to get women to pay for you to uh be around them pay for your time you know <laughs> women will do anything for you if they really down for you and if they really the right fit for you even if you're nervous, you're all nervous. Some women, if they really attracted to you, really down for you, really like you, they'll still give you their number. They will still give you their number and they will still mess around with you or deal with you. It, it doesn't matter. It's not about, you know, the interaction. If a woman is really down for you, you know, she, she'll do whatever. And that, don't get me wrong. Those are rare cases. When you're nervous and you're fumbling and a woman will still be down, but it, it happens. You know, it definitely happens. So, you know, you definitely always got to realize that, you know, a woman that rejects you is just not a good fit for you. Right now, for whatever reason, she's just not a good fit for you. You could have messed up with your words. It just, it just doesn't matter, you know. And just keep that mindset, that abundance mindset. Realize, okay, she's not a good fit for me. It's time to move on. I got to go, you know. So, um, yeah, I believe, you know, those are all pretty powerful. You know, realizing that you shouldn't take rejection personally. Got to learn from your experience. And just realize at that time that woman might not be a good fit for you. 
just is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, rejection is um is always. I mean, of course, initially it's painful, but then as you get used to it, realize it's not that bad, you know, in that you will survive and you will get other women as long as you keep on going, you know, and don't be waiting for women. You got to be the leader, be the man. I used to be the guy who did only, you know, looking for choosing signals and now I'm more variable. I could do the choosing signals, but then I, depending on the woman, I could cold approach. So you got to be that guy, versatile, you know, in order to get the most, most women and the best quality women, you know, so. But yeah, 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 YouTube. <laughs> That's what I got for y'all today. You know, I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell down there. Get notified for other videos I got going on. You know, I hope you guys, you know, learned a lot. Maybe something different. But I hope, most importantly, and I'm sure most of you guys will, you'll apply what you're learning here to get those women and be able to deal with, you know, women in this dating game and just in the world in general and realize you will be okay. You the prize. You the man. You know, if a woman doesn't value you, it's her loss if she wants to reject you. You know, it's very important. That's another one. <laughs> if a woman doesn't value you, she doesn't see the value in you, and she wants to reject you, bam, cut her off. Her loss. She doesn't deserve you. You know what I mean? She does not deserve to be with you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. You know, that was the last one there, I guess, just come off, came off on the top of my head. You know, put the, you got to always value yourself. You know, put yourself first. You know, so if she doesn't value you, move on to someone who does. But yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. YouTube, I appreciate it. The time here, y'all spent here with me. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. Let me know what y'all thought. Whether you agree, disagree. You like it or not. I mean, it's all good. Let me know. I'm, I'm always open for friendly debates. You know what I mean? I'm all about learning too. Y'all got some ways you think I would like to... Um, um, or you, you think something, um, uh, like blah, blah, blah. you got ways that you feel, uh, people could learn from in the comments. Hey, shoot it. Let, let us know, man. You know, always open to suggestions and learning and, you know, applying new things, man. So I guess that's all I got for y'all. YouTube. I appreciate your time. Y'all have a, a great day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.